My name is Darren Caruana. I am the course director of Applied Analytical Chemistry, which is a new master's program that's offered at UCL, which is starting in September 2017. So on this advanced degree course, you will be learning the importance of sample collection, measurement techniques and data processing to determine the validity and reliability of data. So you'll be drawing from interdisciplinary case studies ranging from the micro scale, such as nanotechnology, quantum dots or medical diagnostics, through to the macro scale, for example, occupational exposure, environmental monitoring or large scale industrial processes. The focus of this course is really to be able to develop your skills, not only in analytical chemistry, but also to be able to present and communicate your results, uh, especially to do with your um, end result. What does your number mean when you do when you make a measurement? That is really important for any career, and so we recognise that this is a, a main criteria for for the development of the course. You will learn to develop expertise in data processing using a variety of software and to critically evaluate data from, for example, complex matrices such as biological fluids, networks of sensors, or from sophisticated instrumentation, chromatography and spectroscopy. My name is Dr. Kirsty Caro and I'm manager of UCL Chemistry Mass Spectrometry Facility. The facility consists of the state-of-art instrumentation and we have several applications uh, in this facility. For example, the identification of testosterols in uh, blood, which is extremely important for diagnosis of disorders. Also, we can use gas chromatography mass spectrometry to identify components of the perfume. So it could be used for counterfeit perfume. The course is designed to be able to develop students' skills in many different aspects of analytical chemistry to be able to ask the right questions to be able to tackle any analytical application that they can be confronted with. Everything from pharmaceutical uh, analytical chemistry to art history where, where paintings need to, be, uh, need to be analyzed. Forensic science, which is uh, a very keen area that we will uh, we'll prepare people for but also in environmental and analytical chemistry is a huge area. Everything from um, particulate matters in the, uh, in the air and also sort of uh, chemical species like an NOx and, and other uh, indicators for pollution. So this degree course aims to produce reputable experts that are able to define data to give clear, true picture that is not misleading.